This cat Apex. Um, if y'all actually getting to see this recording, that means the plan worked, or I successfully able, was able to upload this to my camcorder, um, to my mom's laptop. And you know, this night, if y'all don't see as well, it failed clearly. As you see, I'm using my camcorder. Um, and if this successfully gets uploaded and all that, then y'all get to see some more videos with my camcorder and some other stuff. Um, we'll be, um, there will be some armor videos, like. You know how the transform gets some armor from fossilizers or something like that. Um, I will be mentioning about some other stuff in the next video or whatever it, probably the third video. And then I'll be giving my two cents about transformers and all that, and maybe some secret things that be got. Also, I will be doing some more fossilizer combinations again. You know, now I got Wing Finger. Um, the ones I can do, ones I never have to do, and then I have some other main combiner ones. Um. This one, as you see the title, if you see this, um, is ca I'm calling Fossil Break. I think I said it was going to or, or Fossil Club. It's one of those things. And every every combiner form of this, I'm not going to be changing the name because you know it's the same three characters. So I'll probably just be put combiner, 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 unless you know when I eventually, if if when I eventually. When um, those two record two packs pop up, and I do this wing finger with the his um, the Autobot the record fossilizers, then you know I'll give it a net, 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 net name. It's technically, what I'm understanding, um, Spindle and Maskinon so far are technically not rec not Maximals because technically they're working with the Autobots. But you know you'd be like, oh, but Maximals with the Autobots, yeah, but we also know the Maximals are their own faction and they will fight. Yeah, but so you know, we might get auto, we might get straight up all bot and Decepticon fossilizers, than than just Maximals and all that. Which means they're gonna reset the code and whatnot. So that that does have, uh, uh, but you know, you never know. If they count as Maximals or whatnot, then whatever. All right, so let's let's get the review. Um. Yeah, okay. So, as you see, I made it where it's more stable. I can let you see the side of it, the head. Right here. Why I did. Use this weapon. Um. You already should know that the standard head joint for the combiner. Now, for here, you can see I made it where I can. You see, I can where I put it right here, so it can shrivel. With that, um, if I turn this properly, I can actually have this curved up. Have that. Have even like covering the shoulder, like to have an image. Have maybe have a display it blocking. Um, pretty much this is gun arm, so I guess. Have the guns now. You can move this here and move that here. Make more like maybe a hand gesture to block or rotate. Um, then you got this one, which pretty much same. God dang it! Unpop, unpop yourself. Hold up. This doesn't take long. Dang it! Just had it. Here we go. All right, there. Yeah. Anyway. And so you know, you have this more of armor piece. This is more of the the, the club hand. Actually, instead of that, a, I was thinking about I can have this right here instead, but this is probably more stable. Um, this is like the melee hand, a spear stab in here, something like that. And then the legs. Well, defaultly, you know, it's kind of more of the standard Ragnarite legs. These popped in half again. These. Because I have other pieces that I didn't have room, really room for the weapon piece. But then I thought I can use these to help stabilize the legs. Which I seem to think I feel like work as it works. Um, so I guess I'll be showing you some some comparison height wise. And, I'm, and I guess. I guess I can, and then depending on how long this video is so far, I want to do the comparison, which, 
not that long, because what Kim Carter can do longer videos, I'll maybe talk a little bit before I, um, so, so, oh, uh, One of the smaller figures. All right, here we go. So, getting like a core figure even transformed. Sorry, that's not that's not my one. You know, we can put Optimus Primal here. You know, you can have. You see him. He's pretty much really giant. And even if we have him here. Even if we had him here, technically, and have this bit down. He would technically be right here. So either way, he looks small because you know it's core class figure. But it's like works being massive. You have the deluxe him as a vehicle then you have him with an eight uh four small um and then you know have the deluxe's stand which technical optimus primal is taller than deep cover to my memory so you know i'm not going to transform deep cover so you see how he kind of barely comes with the shoulder blade and since he's tall again i that have that actually if anyone wants to, if everyone wants to make their own last of the night scene, we can make it where, you know, Prime will take place Optimus Prime, and this can replace Infernicus, and this nigga, and then this guy fights, um, he fights, he fights a bunch of, he fights the two fossilizers, that means three fossilizers, and be like, I am, I am Optimus Prime, and you know, and just does that. You know, make your own, get your own inspiration, like, you know, for stop motion. If people for stop motion, you know, maybe do that. I think it's cool. I do know, know eventually when we get back to the stuff in storage and move to our own house again, that we will be, I'll be having, like, a scene where this will be fine in Fernicus, or some fossilizers will be fine in Fernicus. Um... This is a lot more stable than the standard one, and I think the following, whenever I combine them, this might be what I use. I kind of like the way it looks. Tell me if y'all like the way it looks. Um, seeing how I got plenty of time, I guess. But I'm, like, I'm not going to a whole charade, because I'll make a whole separate video about um, listings and stuff that may to come where I um, transform my ideas. A whole separate video. I'm not going to try to go into a rant. I will say this. Um, if... The record fossilized count still count as maximals. Then you know I'm already looking forward to the new Predacon fossilizers. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna re re ring finger finally get him a redone. Um, and see how I don't expect the redone to be an exclusive and be his own figure. Maybe a two pack, maybe solo. I'm pretty sure I'm expecting it to be a retool. So you know we'll probably have a different combiner head most likely. Um, and then of course the base head will be different. And so, my thing is for the reduction, uh, wing figure, the way I mainly see them is they're going to use, they're right going to make it a mammal, which will be, I, I think, I'm going to think of fossil little creatures that can fly. So, they're right going to turn the wing figure, um, retool into a, a, a fossil bat. Or, it'll be a dimorphodon. I mean, we could have Quetzalcoatlus, but I feel like that's not separate enough. And I feel like they want, I feel like they're going to try to keep it, like, in tune with how Spindle and Mascaron, from the images we've seen, have it. Which will be neat, because, like I said, I will get all three, and then I'll have Wingfinger with Spindle and them, and I'll have Wingfinger's counterpart here, here, there. And that thing is... Since how they normally keep the even, even we take away the exclusives that are technically not neither side, it's about even. And then we got the core class, which we will have. Um, the way I see it is right we're gonna get a full new model. Maybe I have to find the crocodile or some other small fossil core core figure, or we're gonna get a retool of this. Which, the way I see it, the options I feel they'll choose from is one between a Velociraptor, which they'll change the the robot head. This this head and the feet as a retool, and of course different paint. Or we get Sarasaurus, pretty much just change the head, different paint, change and, you know change both heads. Or maybe a, a Baryonyx 
and still change the two heads. You know, you don't. You can do minor retooling for this. I don't. I pretty much because I can't really think of anything else for retools and models besides the smaller scale dinosaurs. Maybe we'll get a compy. It's no telling. It's not like they have to be size accurate either. So who knows? We, you know, we could get a Parallelophosaurus or an Iguanodon. That works too. So I just feel like they might make it. You know, I just think they'll will make it more of a carnivore type. And the reason why I'm putting those two in there, because you know, right now they'll try to just make it even. Because, dang, my battery ain't charged. Charged? I had charged the other day. All right, y'all. I, I guess I'll go ahead and end it now. I'll bring more about the fossil life. Oh, it's. Oh, it's not paused. Okay, I thought it was paused for a second. Um, and then I'll bring more up the fossils when I actually go in full into it. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I hope you see this. Let the chaos guide you.